let a woman rest. everywhere. Good morning, you silly gooses. Welcome to my fall morning routine. I gotta start by brushing my hair. I know better than to go to bed with wet hair, and yet I did it. And so now I end up looking like this. I don't know when I became, uh -huh, I, don't know, I, don't know. I was about to tell you that I was a morning person. I'm not a morning person, but I don't know when I started waking up so early. I think I've just learned the importance of getting things done in the morning for me. If I get up and get moving, I have a much better day. First things first, we have to brush our teeth because they're nasty. It might be a little bit better if I turn the light on for you. I hate when I go to bed with wet hair because then I end up with all these little like randomly floofy pieces of hair that just don't make sense. It's October 3rd. That means it is spooky season. Better known as fall. I like fall. It's my favorite season. This year is a little sad because it's my first year that I'm not experiencing fall from Wisconsin. I've done my best to make it feel as fall as I can make it feel. <laughs> like in my apartment in Florida, the only time of day that somewhat resembles cool weather is the morning. I need to get changed because me and Duncan, the first thing we do to start our mornings is we go on a walk. It might seem very out of character. <laughs> Even if I don't have an alarm, my body usually wakes up this early. Before, I would just like sit on my couch until 10 a.m. watching TikToks and stuff, and that just isn't very productive. I'm gonna change and put on my walking outfit. I'm gonna put on this little set from Balance. I haven't worn it yet. It's these like biker shorts. It's a zip up. Let's do it. I don't think that worked. <laughs> Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go for our walk. So I'm just gonna walk to a little coffee shop that I have found called Intermezzo Coffee. The entire walk is only like two miles, maybe. It's not like super far, but it's a good little way to get my morning started. But Duncan, you're gonna have to be patient. He's gonna have to be patient because we are going to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Case Defy. I just changed my phone case and put on this new one from Case Casetify. Got a few more of their cases as well. The second one just has Samantha three times. SJS, those are my initials, Samantha Joe Schreiber. I'm really sorry that I'm serving you all of the looks in this outfit right now. It might be like hard to focus. Casetify's new Ultra Impact and Impact cases are actually made out of 65% recyclable and plant-based materials. These cases have Casetify's Tech 2.0, which offers up to 9.8 feet for the Ultra Impact case. I'm 5'1", so you can drop your phone from above my head and it'd be fine. Casetify has a huge variety of different like print options, phone case colors, designs, like whatever fits your vibe, whatever fits your mood. Casetify's cases are 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. Their cases also have something called Defensify is what they call it, which I think is a pretty cool name. And basically it's just like an antibacterial coating that kills 99% of the bacteria that might be crawling all over your phone case. And it just prevents the bacteria bacteria from like sticking to the surface of the phone case itself. Apple has released a new iPhone, the iPhone 13. So if you guys are gonna get that phone, you're gonna wanna have a freaking case to cover it and keep it safe in case the five has got your back for that. Also you guys, that holiday season is approaching. Or maybe it's even just like a birthday season. Like I just think that this is such a cute little gift that you could get for your friends, your family. I love that these are personalized. I wanna be able to change my phone case with my outfit and your friends and family probably do too. So if you guys wanna check out Casetify, go to casetify.com backslash backslash. Go to casetify.com backslash Samantha Joe to save 15% off your iPhone 13 case, whatever it is. Huge thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. And now that I have a nice protected phone case on, I am ready to go on a walk and burn them calories. <gasps> I just need to get going. I'm feeling sluggish. We don't love that. We don't stand that. And it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine. Nature's brew of all kinds of things. The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes. Makes you 
forget about all types of things. It's actually like really humid out this morning. Sweated quite a bit, but I felt like a bad beach walking in this. I thought this outfit deserved a final moment. I got the exact same set in like a brown color too. I haven't been doing anything like extremely crazy fitness wise. I've just been working out and posting on my workout account again. This is gonna sound confusing because I was actually at Daryl's house this past week, but this video is going up after I'm already home from that. So if you guys see videos of Daryl's house, things are kind of not in order right now and I apologize for that. I'm preparing for Vlogmas. I know, can't believe that Vlogmas is already freaking around the corner. I don't know how that happened. I don't wanna say like too much about what I'm doing food-wise because I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna be like intuitive, move my body more, really just focus on not binging. Now that I'm home, I need to go to the grocery store, plan out some meals today and stuff. While I was drinking my coffee at the coffee shop, I was on the phone with Gerald. And he asked me, why do you call it a body shower? It's just a shower. But if I'm not washing my hair, I call it a body shower. That's just what I grew up calling it. Let me know. Do you guys call it a body shower or do you just call it a shower? Because Gerald seemed to think that it was a little odd that I called it a body shower. As you can tell, I still have not made my bed. Don't know when I'm gonna get to that. I got out of the shower and I threw on the coziest fall outfit I could think of, realizing I live in Florida. These brown biker shorts are from Balance. Oversized flannel it is from Nasty Gal. And this is just a Skims tank top. It's the only one I could find. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair today. So typically I probably would just be putting on sweatpants and a sweatshirt. But I've told myself that if I just spend the shortest amount of time getting ready for a day, I'm 10 times more productive. It's Sunday. So I'm just working from home today. Sundays are very chill. So I don't need to be like dressed up. I see people doing their hair like this. I got this necklace from ASOS and I haven't worn it yet. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Just like a little bit. I washed my face in the shower, by the way. And then I put on this Ultra Repair Cream. A little face powder. I need to find good drugstore makeup. I just haven't looked for a long time. Haven't taken a gander in there to see what they have to offer. Also, this is an Alex and Ani bracelet that Gerald got me for my birthday. Patrick Ta Brow Gel. This is the ultimate five second makeup routine, by the way. This is just clear and I've learned to spray it. It like wakes up the product, gets it going. And then I'm not even putting anything in my eyebrows. I'm just brushing them. Mascara to wake up the soul. And just like that, you look a little bit more awake and I am much more ready to conquer the day. I love having animals. I love having animals. I love having animals. I don't know, this morning is going by so fast. I mean, I did spend about 30 minutes lying on my bed after I took a shower, doing nothing except look at my phone, but it is Sunday, so gotta be a little easy on myself. Now, it is time to feed our animals. I also need to eat breakfast, but they come first. My cats have food available to them like all day whenever they want it. This kitty right here, Sneakers, is a spoiled kitty because she's 18 years old. Very old. She's just really skinny, but she has this like huge appetite and I'm having an issue with her and Dobby where Dobby isn't letting her like eat her food. So if you hear him screaming, he's locked in my bedroom. So I have to feed her separately. She has this cute little dish that says one spoiled cat lives here. This one's for seniors, but she has a couple different kinds. I give her one in the morning and one at night and she loves it. It makes her happy. Eat up, Snickers. My other cats will get the same special treatment the second that they are old and need extra calories. Since I've been gone, I haven't been to the grocery store. Let's see what I have. Yeah. This might look like a pretty full pantry, but most of it is inedible. I have hot sauce, eggs, Ginger shot, and we have cheese. This is not a very fall breakfast. I have an omelet and some Kodiak cakes. This is for coffee, but it's not very good at it. That was a good idea, but terrible execution. Going old school with a fork. Pumpkin pie spice. Screw the caps, you know? Our batter is made. I'm gonna try something new. It's called cleaning up as I go. This morning, 
please. This is my omelet. Fuck, it went all the way. Okay. Are you kidding me? It keeps going all the way. <gasps> do the happy dance. Do the happy. Here it is. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, but I just wanted to try and make it fall. That's why I'm having this. This is my omelet, and then this is like sugar-free syrup. I'm also gonna take this. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. I've been obsessed with hot sauce recently. Don't ask me why, but it's so good. Mm. All we have left to do is tidy up my living room, and then that'll be it for the morning, and I'm gonna start work for the day. It is Sunday, but when you do what I do, it's not really like a Monday through Friday work week. That's probably one of the hardest parts. Work never really stops. Bon apple teeth, eat up. It is 11.26 in the morning, so I guess technically it's still morning. Morning doesn't end until noon. Have you guys ever actually thought about that? Morning doesn't end until 12 p.m. This is a very typical morning for me. I did not used to get this much done in the morning. Honestly, praise be to my therapist for helping me get myself out of the biggest funk. And I have made routines for myself and schedules for myself, and it has honestly helped me so much. Even on days where like, I'm not doing a ton, I still feel productive. I'm out of my bed. I'm moving around. I'm not just on my phone 24 7 it is such a healthy feeling oh i didn't make my bed realistically i don't make my bed i'm gonna sit here and edit this video because that's my job my armpits are sore from the gym once again thank you to case to buy for sponsoring today's video make sure you guys click the link in the description i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye i was about to crochet <sighs> You can't leave anything. If you have animals, you can't leave anything around. This is why we can't have nice things, Duncan. You're still cute though.